Hello everyone, welcome to GF TV. I'm J Lab, and this is Football Manager 2014. Now, please ignore the rage issue at the moment. That will soon be evaded once Paul Anderson gets sold to Portsmouth for 80 grand. Yes, I know it's less than his current value, but at the same time, I don't think I can really care at this point. He's already got a good replacement in Darren Ramsey or Ramsey. So, really, the thing was, he, I spent 300 grand to bring this guy in. Though, currently, I'm not sure if that's a good deal or a bad deal. Even if he's got potential to be a leading championship winger, eventually. But, that's just me. And he's had a good season last year in my division. It could be a different story this season. But, that doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. He's got a good potential and I think I'll use it. We've had a few um, games in the friendlies, we haven't done that much in terms of results, but the, we took part in the Ashley Williams testimonial, which is a bit of a surprise. But hey, I can't complain, I got to take, I got to be part of it for once, even though I wasn't managing the um, team. But yeah, we've had a few signings, had Carl Hammond, who I lo had on loan from Ipswich last year, I've now brought permanently now after impressing me last year round he's got potential to be a leading championship white back and I'm happy to have him I've got Gary McConnell who was also on loan last year to me but he was on loan from QPR I signed him on a permanent basis and I think I've got a good play left back in him especially when I take into consideration he's got potential to be a good Premier League left back one day. The next player I brought is a loan signing called Nathaniel Kelly. He's got he's a natural player in the both right back and central defender positions and he was on loan from Birmingham City and after spending two seasons on loan to Burton I think he kind of needed a new environment he spent some time at Birmingham during the League One campaign, but I've loaned him this year. He's a decent League One defender, but at the same time, I think he could be a lot worse than what I had in mind. But yeah, I brought Simon James as a potential f for potential or anything else. I brought him for free from the Welsh club, from the Welsh Premier League. My second Welshman I've signed. He's got potential to be a decent attacking midfielder in the Premier League and a decent central midfielder and a decent winger in the Premier League. He's got so many natural positions, it's unbelievable. Brilliant to have him. But yeah, I've mentioned Dan Ramsey, he's a very, very good signing as far as I'm concerned. Yes, I know I spent a lot of money on him, but I think he'll be one of those players that just pulls through for me. Even if I have to wait until Paul Anderson goes for what my rage budget to really be sorted out. I actually delayed that to be honest because I wasn't sure if I'll be able to have Ramsey in my side. But yeah, that's I've kind of proven that now. It would happen. But either way, I've got a few things done. And for potential, I want to say I can survive. The media predicts I will as well. And even though... The first game's already happened in the form of Brentford destroying Wolves by three goals to nil. What the hell? Yeah, here we are. It took them until the first half to really get the lead. But I think they've done really well regardless. So they got a 3-0 win against Wolverhampton Wanderers in their first game of the season. Mind you, both teams were just relegated, so it's almost expected. And yeah, they've got a new stadium now. The Lee Now Stadium, I didn't think that was actually happening, but who knows? I wonder what they that was named after, the Lee Now Stadium. Nice to know Brentford had gone up in the world. But anyway, enough, enough about Brentford. I'm going to actually look at Jill's, to be honest with you. I'm a massive fan of this club. It's a local team for me. Three promotions in a row. I don't know how it worked out. I really don't. I wish I knew, really, but I don't. <sighs> Their facility is going to expand eventually. They've got, they'll be finished tomorrow, actually. 
so they'll have 13 peasant seats I think but yeah I hope that you've enjoyed this video regardless I know I've rambled a bit about other things but I can't help it I'm excited about what's gonna happen and I hope that you will like and favorite this video even though it's another summary video I know some people hate these videos because they sum up and they're boring and not action like and not real well when I say real it's not something that you hear me interacting that much you don't hear me go and be part of the crowd really if that makes sense <sighs> yeah anyway I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel it will really help me out a lot so anyway until next time goodbye good night ta ta